this uh, great game, Texas Stampede against the South Florida Rattlers. The Rattlers with a very strong team of players from outside of, most of them outside of well, the we have, we have South four, Florida. four locals from South Florida, Florida and, uh, yeah. and that's the rest are Canadians with the exception of uh, one from Japan, so. Yep, so right now we have uh, a Laotian, a Japanese, a Can Canadian, and a South Floridian. That's so, the international team. South Florida global team. Yep, that's it, the global team. And there's a nice move there, uh, Shinjo finding the hole. And 15-15, uh, Texas for the ball. There goes oh, look Shimmy. at that. Three Three found a hole, and there's nothing you can do about that one. Nope. His speed. Well, right now you have some of the fastest players out there in this game. You have number one saying he's fast, Sinichi's fast, Shingo's fast, and Mark Dubron's pretty fast too, so some speedsters out there. Yeah. If the game heats up, it's going to be quick. Okay. Shingo finding an empty space, coming in, closing it, scoring, and it's 16-16. Ball stay, this ball game is staying pretty close. Um, inbounds again. Mark Supan off to the races. Here we go again. Mark finds uh, his teammate Shimikawa, and that's another score. And we're back. Nice, nice pass up to Shimmy and easy goal for Texas. The passing has been phenomenal, too. Yeah. We haven't seen too many. It's really a pretty game much. when you have passing. And yeah. Okay, a lot of traffic there, a lot of blocking right now. Who's going to get open? Rattlers have to get that ball, and he's heading the wrong direction. They're probably going to have out. to burn a timeout here. Oh, he, what a... See, well, well, he got that. Okay. Oh, what a nice heads up pass. He, he had a nice court sense there. He knew exactly where his man was. A lot of patience, a lot of patience. Let him with the ball, and there he was. It looked like a tough moment there, and then it went from tough to a, a nice score, 17-17 with six minutes, 50 seconds left. And there's another easy score for Texas. Puts him up, 18-17. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, um, a French Canadian ref is. Uh, Got everybody's attention here, and everybody's jockeying for where they're well, going to be. Well, they're waiting for the inbounder to get up there so that uh, the game can resume. So uh, explain that, uh, how if you block people in, they cannot inbound. Well, if, you, if you're trapped and you're going to inbound, you have to tell the ref that you're inbounding, and then he'll release the players that are trapping you. But if you don't say it early enough, you're in trouble. If you don't say it, and... Nobody shows up to inbound the ball. The ref has the right to set the ball on the ground and start counting to 10. Oh, there's a turnover there. Yeah, it's a Scott. tough turnover, turnover for Florida. Scott bringing the ball into Mark Japan. Texas a chance to put up a two-point lead. The hole. He went right around Say. Missed that block. Found a hole. Boy, that was uh, that's some nice maneuverability there. He's showing his stuff here. A, a colorful character there, Monk Japan. Yeah. You can tell by his uh, yep. his tattoo. He's uh, he's got the tough guy attitude, he's, and he comes to play. Yeah. He's he's a straightforward guy. He'll tell you what's on his mind without any hesitation. But uh, he's he's a, he's a great guy, and I don't know if you're aware of it, but Mark was injured here in South Florida, and and. Uh, we tried to get Mark involved with rugby before he ever started. The South Florida Rattlers tried to get him involved for three years while he was still living here. Ah. And uh, he came out to a couple practices and he liked it, but he was bound and determined to play for a team in Miami, which there isn't one and never has been one. And uh, then he moved up to Atlanta to go to college and began his rugby career officially with the Atlanta team. Oh, look at that. Nice ball handling. Nice movement. That was about as nice as you want to get. Shinji Fukushima, Japanese team member, showing his moves there. Yep. Through traffic, wheeling away, finding the hole, keeping it on the ground, and, and then just uh, Just scoring. driving in traffic. I'll tell you what, dude. Hey, I can see him on Collins Avenue sometime. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Mark, Mark trying to find a hole there that isn't existing. Not quite, exactly. quite enough room. Yeah. the ball out there. 
That's it. Back to his teammates, Shinichi, Shinichi now. They're going to start over. they got 15 seconds left. Time is starting to run out a little bit. Plenty of time. Oh, look at that. A turnover. What a turnover there. Good foul, South Florida. Tied right back yeah, up at yeah. 19 apiece. That's an uh, unusual turnover there. Yep, and I, I think that uh, Texas is a little surprised. South Florida is going to drop back in the key here. They're in the key and okay. try to conserve a little energy. Okay, here comes... Uh, A lot, of, a lot of there, jockeying but... over there. Mark looking for a hole. Yeah. Take it right yeah, through nice the middle. Hole. You notice Say's on the bench for a little breather here. Yeah. And uh, Martin LaRoque's on the bench for a little breather. I think... Yeah, we have Dave Harrison, number uh, 24. He's a 1-5 from South Florida. Big guy, and, though. Yeah, yeah, he's a big guy, and he's also a tennis, tennis athlete. And a uh, very good tennis player. Charles Ray, number 10 from uh, South Florida as well. He's uh, been with the team for probably 10 or 12 yeah, years. Yeah, since 93. That's yep. longer than that. And both Dave and Charles had uh, tried out for U.S. national teams in the past, but weren't quite uh, at that level to make it. But they're both game players and uh, a lot of skills. And... Well, yeah, uh, I wonder how hard is the competition at the .5 level? Is there, uh, uh, the know, competition is tough for Team USA at every, every class. level. There's uh -huh. no class that, uh, you know, the the only class that uh, we don't have a lot of in this sport anymore. The three fives, the guys with the, the Joel Wilmuth from uh, from uh, Lakeshore. Lakeshore. He's uh, he's got so much strength and function. Um, so. In his case, we had two three fives that were trying out for that spot, and the other person is Steve Tate, and he was on the 2000 Paralympic team and the 2002 World Championship team. And uh, Steve just came off of his shoulder injury, and uh, so he wasn't actually able to participate in tryouts, but he was evaluated based on past performances. And he's the uh, uh, he's a um, uh, alternate for Team USA. Okay. So Joel has never been classed internationally, and his first opportunity for that will be at the uh, Canada Cup, which will be next June up in Vancouver, Canada, and that'll be the top eight teams in the world. So it's it's one step away from the Paralympics. The only difference is uh, Sweden will probably play that tournament as opposed to China because China um, won't be able to make it. They don't. They don't so have who, the. So you're going to have it at, at that tournament. You see the top eight teams: is top Germany, New Zealand, Canada, U.S., Great Britain, uh, Great Britain, and. Uh, uh, Sweden, 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 uh, Sweden would rank in there. So, black number, like number ten, technical four. Technical. Yep. Charles. What's the T four? Okay. And what is the tech? You did technical it. foul. Uh, I told the ball. you. Uh, First twenty nineteen here. Oh, the Rallys had the ball down a man. Yeah. That's an interesting one. I haven't seen that before. Oh, look at that. That, that was off of Zupan, I believe, yeah, so they're going to give it back to Florida. Right, a little disruptive influence there. Yeah. The, the technical that we have here in the box, what that is, is in the U.S., if you're over 45, you get a half point point reduction, but it requires a sticker on your classification card, and Charles didn't have that sticker on his card, so they call it technical on it. That's an interesting way to do it. Yep. And so he's, uh, he's sitting he's, down for... And he's got to serve the full minute whenever this is technical. Okay. I think this is the first technical well, that, of the, the tournament. Well, that is interesting that uh, in spite of it being down a man, they still scored. Yep. That's a, that's a, gives the Rattlers a little bit of, of uh, good stuff there. Yep. And uh, Texas comes back 21-20. They're up by one. And uh, they had an opportunity there with a down a man. They could have done something. Yep. But they, uh, they didn't take advantage of it. Don't you think? Oh, look at this. Nice pass. Nice deep pass to Harris. Oh, no! He was too ahead here. We are. Uh... Anyway. I'm going to step away for just one second. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Ball inbounds, Texas.
score is 21-20, Texas up. Chance for them to get a two-point lead. This is uh, Rob Rowland, by the way, x Able Sports. Thank you for watching this, and uh, stay tuned for some more exciting things tomorrow as we cover three games in a row. And here comes Mark Japan, final hole. Oh, what a nice fake there. Did he find a hole? Yes, he did. Nicely done. With a good block by Norm Leidick to give him the, uh, the, the, the zone to go through there. If you're going to find them all, we have uh, some exciting games. Don't want to miss that. Canada versus South Florida, 10:30. Lakeshore, Denver, and uh, Team Canada versus Texas. Another nice score by the Rattlers, 22-21. This Rattlers team is staying in this game, and they are not giving up. And uh, even though Texas is a top-rated team, and the Rattlers really had their first practice really not very long, but a couple of days ago, because they had never played together in the same way as. Texas, but uh, they're staying in this game. Shows you the quality of the athletes. And but they have played some today, and uh, at this point, they're starting to gel as a team. And that might be the difference there. Score is 23-21. Texas is up by two. And uh, Mark trying to block. Shingo, Shingo looking for a lane through this. He's coming through, he's looking for who's open. Reach again, could get to the ball. They keep blocking his access. 18, 17 seconds left. Oh, jump ball, Mark Chapin. That's about the third jump ball that we've seen that Mark has caused, uh, and uh, that determination uh, shows up. And that does come back. They, this time they actually got the ball. Next time they won't, but uh, that's, that's a turnover. I have a chance here for a Texas. Oh, what a interesting. Uh, Looks like almost a foul there, they didn't call it. And uh, number 10 scores. He's getting a little frustrated out there though. A little bit of elbows uh, flying and he's not happy with that. Three point lead for Texas, 24-21. But we're seeing a little bit of change. Here's another one the other way. And that one is another turnover for South Florida. That was uh, Put too fast, too far ahead, and and uh, and I'm back live. With Dave you. Harrison couldn't. The uh, 1.5 Harrison could not get there in time. And uh, oh, we have a uh, oh, legal advance. It's gonna be orange right here. Okay, legal advance. Let's go. We got a technical foul for an illegal advance. Number five, black and 250. Okay. Yeah, if you want a break, you say something. I can give you that break. Uh, no way. Ha uh -huh. uh, There's our six foot five refs telling uh, <laughs> our uh, number. Uh, who's that? Uh, Martin? Is that? No, it's Garrett Hinkley. Yeah, Garrett, Garrett Hinkley. A few. Uh, just don't mess with me too much, or you'll get a long break in this thing. And uh, okay, he's back in there. I thought with technicals you had to stay for the full period, but not in this not case. In, not in that particular case. So finally they hit Dave Harrison. Dave Harrison scoots across. The last time that didn't work, and Dave uh, missed it. Yeah. So it's a three-point game. Up for it that time. Three-point game with two minutes and two, 28 seconds left. Texas with the ball and starting to get a little bit of a of a lead here. They're trying to build on it. And here they come in. Mark Chappell, trying to find the hole. Nice block there. Number 10, Shimichi Shimokawa with a block and gives Chappell uh, a free reign. A nice thing. Inbounds pass to. Uh, when we get all done, you're going to be uh, you're going to be able to pronounce anyone's name and pretty much anyone's language. Oh yeah. Well, there's a one. Uh, I'm going to keep saying it. Say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not ready for that, but you maybe I'll pronounce it. By the end of the weekend, we'll pronounce it together. Okay. Oh, you think you have? You don't have it down yet? Uh, no. Say. And I've known say hum, for a number of years. Yeah. But anyway, from Laos. Long way from Laos. Yeah. Well, if I say it, it's gonna sound dirty, so I'll, but I'll refrain. You refrain. And I don't think he would have much of a chance to play this in his home country. Look at Mark finding that all with a long lighter block that just yeah. kept it. Beautiful. Kept it there and can't ask for more than that. Four points again lead for Texas. And um, Rattler's starting to show a little bit of wear and tear here. 
Uh, but this game is far from over. Texas has really picked up their defense and pressure. They've been, they've been working hard. Oh, nice Scott with a nice bump and run there. And, and uh, he's got to get this ball, find somebody. They're reaching in, he's got the ball. And a nice pass. Single, uh, single with the ball, looking for somebody. Single cannot get the ball out of his hands. A lot of pressure, jump ball. Jump ball and the ball is back to Florida. They get it and they get the clock again. So that actually worked out for them. Yep, it would almost sure be better if he hadn't done that. Yep. That's a, an interesting time when you get to jump ball. But yep. you know what the work does work is then you get the oh, jump ball next time. The clock so that's where you get the payback. I got him now. John, would you like some water here? No, I've got some here. Okay. Am I sounding like I need a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This uh, this uh, talking it does wear you out a little bit on the vocal cord, so uh, you just got to keep well lubricated. I've uh, kind of been playing the ultimate host here today and speaking to reporters and uh, people that have never seen the game and trying to help out wherever I can. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of little... Uh, things that make this go, and I know you've worked hard to set this thing, and there's a lot of things that people probably didn't uh, can't see, but uh, most of your work has been done, and, uh, and it's come Monday to morning I won't be answering my phone, and I'm gonna sleep in a little bit. I wish I could say the same, but back to work. Don't on have today. that luxury. No, but I'm having a good time. I can't ask for more fun than this, and uh, see what shape I'm in for next Sunday when we start to yep. cover the. Uh, the oh, look at that turnover. Okay. So, 27-23, yeah. Texas is going to have 40 seconds to score here, and if they eat up that 40 seconds, it'll leave South Florida nine seconds to get to, to attempt their last And last right goal. now they have if up four, they could be up five, and uh, that'd be a nice way to go at the end of this uh, half. Yeah, I'm so sure nice, they'd like that. Nice cushion. So here they go. Let's see what their uh, half quarter offense will be, and if they can find that hole with just the right amount of time. A lot of nice blocking there. They're trying to keep Shingo away from them. Here we go. The game clock is at 21. Uh, and, uh, and no penalties. You can hear that now. 15 seconds left on it. Now it's getting serious. Set up. They're making the blocks. Can they make a hand for Nice pass. And, uh, oh, look at this. Oh, to Scott and a score. So you don't see Scott scoring too often. No, you don't see the low pointers in there to get a ball. And uh, under that pressure situation, that was a pretty play. 12.8 seconds left. The Rattlers, they have to see if they can do something. They're trying to get their men free. They got to get that ball down quickly. They got to find someone open. Look at the moving. Shinji going, going, going. For the pass. Oh, Moxipan blocks it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Texas, eight tenths of a second. South Florida's ball. <laughs> they have eight tenths of a second to still score, but I'll uh, tell you what. Well, that was a good defensive play by Mark. He broke it up. Well, it would have been smarter to uh, bat it a little further in the other direction. Look at oh! That. They just didn't have that time perfectly, and that's the end of the first half. Scores 28-23 Texas over the South Florida Rattlers. This is Rob Rowan and John Bishop, and we're going to take a short break. You're watching xable.com, and stay tuned for the second half of a game that uh, that sure looks like it could still be a big thriller here. Thank you. Yep.